Hello guys, and welcome back to another video. Today we are taking a look at the roadmap along with a few other things from Train Sim World or for Train Sim World. Starting off with the Voslo G6. Oh my goodness, this looks amazing. Yep, this is a screenshot. As you see, it's still a work in progress and is still under heavy development from TSG, Train Sim Germany, if you want to call it that. And uh, they did a fabulous job. Oh my god, that looks so good. But, yeah, um,. What else is there? Oh, yeah. There is a cab preview of it. This is the cab. Um, as you see, this is the cab of it. No, you can't drink the coffee or work with anything like the radio. Um, but yeah, the cab is pretty good and detailed. Um, moving on down with the core update. Um, Tomorrow, we will be bringing an update for Train Sim World 2, which enables the upcoming Rush Hour Navarker Dresden, and includes the following fixes or improvements. Fixed an issue which would result in a game in a crash when exiting the game. Reduced the volume of performance spikes reported during the gameplay. Improved performance on the route selection menu navigation. The update will download automatically for owners when it becomes available. Players should allow at least 24 hours after restarting Steam, Epic Games Store, their console for the update to appear and before contacting customer support. And yeah, that is about it. Oh, did not want that. Um, so here we go with the roadmap. So let's get into it. I'll let it load and I'll be right back. Alright, so Train Sim World 2 roadmap, 7th of September. Now, Reset Address then releases this week and there's more on the horizon. We're close to the release of the Reset Address then route, which takes us to into the final third of the rush hour season ticket. The anticipated wait before London commuter is a little longer than the gap between a Northeast Corridor and Reset to Dresden, but it's progressed to the point of testing and polish and moves up to the upcoming section of the roadmap as a result. We've also added another branch, I'm not going to even say this because I have no idea how to say it, for Reset at Dresden to the upcoming section as this additional branch will arrive shortly after the main route release. And we'll have some screenshots from the branch to show off in today's stream. Also in testing are the passenger dens density upgrades to the Bakerloo line and Kondwaken, as well as improved behavior to passengers across other routes. We've also moved the improvements to Main Spissart Bond and MP36 PH 3C Baby Bullet Scenario Planner options. Possibly the most eye catching change to this week's run map are the additions of. Nope, 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 no, 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 It's unusual for us to be adding, nope. Nope, I'm not saying it. You will see it. Roots to the roadmap at the same time, but... I'm gonna say, I'm gonna change that. Our aim is to add projects to the roadmap as they enter initial planning, which would ensure us the which would ensure which should ensure their stay in this update doesn't feel like it lasts forever finally we have removed the ongoing standard download size project from the run map as the work has been completed and interrogated integrated into the rush hour suit of updates 
The change in the file size might not seem significant at first glance, but, but it should be impactful over the time. Keys that... So Bond struck a reset of Dresden has moved up to next arrival. Um, with the 442, 143, 146, 363, and DB Blue, and MRCE185. A lot of things have been moved up to upcoming, which is Main Space Art Bond Scenario Planner Expansion, Baby Bullet Scenario Planner Expansion, Rush Hour Passenger System for Bakerloo and Colnoaken, the branch for Reset at Dresden, and the 1938 tube stock has moved up as well, and ongoing is Rush Hour Passenger System. So expect an article about the 1938 tube stock soon, and it's by Rabbit Games for Bakerloo line, I believe. In production is Core, Trains and World Rush Hour, Core Steam Update, which is Steam Trains, Oakville Sub Preservation Update, Peninsula Corridor Preservation Update, Add Crossing Gates to Preserve Collection, Add Platform Departure Boards to Preserve Collection, Add Rail Driver to Preserve Collection, Full Length of Climb Up Function for Preserve Collection, Livery compatibility for preserved collection, memory use optimization, user guides and manuals, the 313 for East Coast Way, 187 by Skyhook for Golden Wacken, the DBBR 420 EMU for Hopstruck in Munich to Augsburg by Train the Sim Germany, the 232 for Rugsing Nord by Train Sim Germany, the G6 for um, Ryan Roasten by TSG. Brighton Mainline for London Victoria to Brighton with the Southern Class 3774 and Gatwick Express 387. And West Cornwall Local Penzance to St. Austell and St. Ivas with the Class 150 2. And there's not going to be only the 150. I think they said they might layer some other things. Nope. Okay. Uh, nope. Okay. Scenario Planner 2.0 in, in planning along with Liberty Designer 2.0. Roosting Nord Preservation Update along with Rhino Roast Preservation Update. Here comes the exciting part, everyone. Here we have it. Root add-on. Sherman Hill with the UPSD-70 ACE. Along with Horseshoe Curve, Altona to Johnsville and South Fork. With the ES-44 AC and GP-38-2. So that is right, guys. We are getting two new uh, US routes. Um, both freight. And, uh, well, UP ain't really a new operator, but they have a new engine that everybody's probably wanted. And Norfolk Southern is finally making an appearance on Transom World with their horseshoe curve. So, yeah. Um, we finally get Jeevos in the game. And, yeah. Um, I will show you some pics of what they look like. Here's the SD70 ACE. Well, I don't know if it's going to be this one or this one. Here's the ES44 AC and the GP38. Here's the Norfolk Southern GP38 cab. Here's the ES44 AC cab and the SD70 ACE cab. Info on Horseshoe Curve, it is 31.1 miles long and 50.1 kilometers long. Runs between Altona and Jonestown with, yeah, you know. Here's another image, well, two, of the GP38 and ES44. 
info on Sherman Hill. The hill is itself is 7.5 miles slash 12.1 kilometers long. It's 1.55% grade steep for a length of 15 miles slash 24 kilometers. Ruth length is 45 to slash, well, root length is 45 miles, 72.4 kilometers long, and comes with one loco, the SD70 Ace. Here's the cab, um, if you want to see it better. And another image of the SD70 Ace. Here is the screen. Here are some screenshots from the new branch. And one last thing before I end it off is there is going to be a new Norfolk Southern locomotive coming to Train Simulator. Um, this is the SD70N, so here you go, this is what it looks like, um, but this is what it actually looks like, um, yeah. And yeah, that is about it. So if you guys did enjoy this video, make sure to give it a like along with subscribing to the channel. If you do, you'll become part of the awesome squad and first 1000 subscribers club. Also, if you don't want to miss out on a future upload, make sure to turn on post notifications to be notified of a future post. Anyways, I will see you guys in the next one. Take care.